Number 10, identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this equation right here. So for HBr plus H2O, which will yield H3O plus plus Br minus, we need to find out these four things. Now the easiest way to go about this is to first pick out the pairs. Now, I like to work from left to right, so I'm just going to pick HBr first. And I say to myself, okay, which species on the product side goes with HBr? The same elements have to go together. So if this one has a bromine, this one is the pair that corresponds with HBr. And if you pick that, the other pair should kind of make sense as well. And it does, right? H2O, so it's just oxygen and hydrogen, go with H3O plus just hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, the second thing that we can do is get rid of the word conjugate, right? Just know that conjugates are always going to be on the product side. Conjugate is just a fancy way for saying other. So it's like the corresponding base to the acid that you had on the left-hand side. So H3O plus is going to be a conjugate. So I could write that there. The Br minus is also going to be a conjugate. I don't know which one for certain is the acid or base yet, but I'll know in a little bit. On the flip side, the actual Bronsted-Lowry acid and base are always the reactant. So HBr has to be a Bronsted-Lowry something, Bl, and then H2O is also a Bronsted-Lowry something, and then in a little bit we'll know what it actually is, whether it's an acid or a base. Now what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the pairs. So I guess let's just go with uh, HBr and Br minus. Now remember, I wrote something down here that's very important. Acids always have one more hydrogen than their uh, conjugate base, and then vice versa, a base will always have one less hydrogen. So acids always one more, base is one less. So in terms of HBr and Br minus, HBr has a hydrogen in front of it. Bromine, the Br minus, has no hydrogen. Acids always have one more hydrogen. So if that's the case, this is the acid out of the pair. The other one has got to be the base. And now if we just look at the other pair, we do the same exact thing. H2O versus H3O plus. H2O has two hydrogens. H3O plus has three hydrogens. So the acid has one more hydrogen. This one has one more hydrogen, so this has to be the acid. And then vice versa, this has to be the base. And if you've noticed, you only are allowed one acid and one base per side. So if you do this on a test or a quiz where you have two acids or two bases on one side, just stop and go back and try to work it out. That was a, a silly mistake, all right? So hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool YouTube service is this. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.